So let us look at another interesting word problem which says that find the least number that must be added to 1300 so as to get a perfect square and we should also find out the square root of that number. So as a first step what we would do is we would try to find out whether 1300 is a perfect square or not using the long division method. So we write 1300, we pair the numbers and then we begin with the division as explained in earlier videos. Okay, so we find out what is the first number that we get here. It is three times three is nine. That would be the number over here. So we say three times three, it gives us nine. And 13 minus nine gives us four. We carry these two zeros down. So three times two. Now that becomes six. We double this and put six. And now we have to find out a product such that we get this over here. And after a few iterations, you will figure out that if we do 66 multiplied by six, what we would get is 396. And th that is what comes closest to 400. So we would say 66 multiplied by six gives us 396. And the remainder is four. Now here comes the interesting bit. 1300 is not a perfect square because we have a remainder. At the same time, this also points to an important thing is that 36 squared is less than 1300. That is what it says. Now, if you look at the problem statement, it says the least number that must be added, not subtracted, it must be added to 1300 so as to get a perfect square. So what is the next square number after this? So that is 37. And when you square 37, what you get is 1369. Okay, so the next square number is 1369. So therefore, you can figure out what must be added to 1300 to get a perfect square. So all you do is you subtract 1369 minus 1300, which gives you 69. So 69 is the least number that must be added to 1300 to give you a perfect square. And the square root of that is 37. So let me just write down the square root of 1369 would be 37. So that was another word problem involving square roots.